Are you a fan of Hawaiian pizza? I owned my first pizzeria for seven years before I even had a slice, and then once I tried it, I was serious. Wait, you, was, you used to make it? You've I been made, making I made, it? I made hundreds of them and hadn't hadn't tried it. Sounds something like I would do. Sounds like you, yeah. <laughs> I'm Scott, and I eat all kinds of pizza. I'm Mark. And I'm a pizza purist. So we're hitting the road to taste the craziest concoctions claiming to be pizza. But, but are, are they, they really, really dough? Previously on Really Dough. I know I didn't get you back in time to Luke Alley. Scott, Scott, Scott. It's not that big a deal. It was a big deal. It's not a big he deal. said everything's fine at the restaurant. I just want to see you sweat a little. Are you serious? Come on, open the door. You are unreal. Scott, open the door. You need to learn how to be a good friend. Wiener, come back. Why did you betray me? Find your own way home. Find Come on, Mark. Get in the car. You didn't really think I was going to leave you. I actually found that kind of funny. I had a feeling the restaurant didn't really need you. You would have been way more on top of me if you really needed you to get back. You had no clue. I've been watching you sweat for the last two days. <laughs> I'm kind of glad you made the left at the Holland Tunnel. Really? Yep. I needed to get away. And I got to eat some good pizza. Yeah, I know, right? And not some pizza. It doesn't really matter to me if it was pizza or if it was not pizza. I, I'm glad you had fun. I was really worried for a bit there. You think you would do another pizza tour with me? Don't worry about it. Maybe one more slice before we head back to Brooklyn. Yeah? Yep. One more pizzeria? Yep. But let's make it something really interesting. What'd you have in mind? You've been talking about it the past couple of days. I think we should go for Hawaiian pizza. Pineapple pizza? Yes. Put ham on it? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh yeah, it's gonna have a fatty ham. It's gonna pair really, really well with the pineapple. So sometimes it's done as a white pie. Sometimes it's done as a red pie. Do I put cheese on it? And cheese. I just can't imagine pineapple sauce and ham. I've been wanting to make one myself, but... Never even had If you it. can get me a fresh one, I am definitely down for that. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. You know a spot. I know a spot. Well, it's called Fire Engine Pizza. You up for it? Let's do it. Ah, beautiful parking spot for me, right up in front. Check out this handle. Oh, sweet, look at that, it's fire engine. An axe. I didn't axe you. How are you doing, guys? It? Welcome to Fire Engine Pizza. How are you today? Mark. Mark, Marty. Marty Pleasure. Nice hey, to meet Scott. you. Scott, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Marty. Dude, this is a big oven. Thank you, all the way from Italy. It looks cool. Yeah. What's up with all the firemen memorabilia? I was a fireman oh, years really? ago, and I first opened this, we had a really bad fire. So we rebuilt, and I found an old fire truck online, and <laughs> built an oven in the back of it, and went mobile. So you make pizza out of the back of a fire truck? We make pizza out of the back of a fire truck. Using a wood fire? Same exact oven. So. That's so cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You guys hungry? Can I get you something to eat? Yeah, actually. Mark here has never had Hawaiian pizza. Come on. Every time I go to the slice joint, it's like sitting there for like a couple of hours, and it's all dried out, looking funky. Well, you can't get any fresher than mine. With fresh pineapple, and uh, we do a little twist. We use a spicy uh, hot capicola. So it's got a hot little, capicola. Little you kick didn't tell me it was hot capicola. Why are you capicola? Capicola. All right, let's do it. Have a seat, guys, and I'll uh, I'll get your pizza going. I'm really excited about this. You see it in your eyes. It's like the clam pizza. You were excited. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I just love pineapple and ham. Would you eat that together normally? Absolutely. Well, in what situations? Like a luau? My grandma used to make. Ham with pineapple. Like where the big ham has the little pineapple rings in the ch ch the cherries? Yep. Yeah. Excuse my yaya. What's a yaya? It's my, my cousin's Greek, so grandma, Greek, yaya. But she would never eat a pizza like this. Uh, I'm so gonna have to bring her one. I've never had go cooked gabagool before. I never have either. I'm honestly a little nervous. What are you nervous about? I'm just nervous. I never experienced it, and I feel like this whole thing's been a tour that I've been leading, and now I'm gonna be discovering something new. It's our tour. Sauce, cheese, 
dough. That's it. A pizza should look as good as it tastes. What about, uh, you had a rule about how like, a pizzeria should smell good? Yes, the smell should punch you in the face. Okay. So, what you about- You know what, Scott, what? do you have any pizza rules? Not really. Why not? Why not? I'm just excited about it. Public notice! Fire Engine Pizza Co. is now using pineapple! This pizza is always a hot topping. All toppings must go at the first ever fire sale at Fire Engine Pizza Co. I'm gonna slice this up. Nice, juicy, and delicious. I feel like we took it to another level. Fresh ingredients and a spicy meat. Don't let your romance road trip in without a Hawaiian slice at Fire Engine Pizza Co. One bite and it's mahal over. Hot, hot, hot! to that great debate. You know, I don't know how anyone could think this is not a pizza. Fire Engine Pizza Co. Salty meat, sweet pineapple, perfect flavor combination. You don't have time, do not make time to try this Hawaiian pizza. Set your watch, two and a half minutes. You'll never find juicier pineapple, tastier ham, or meltier cheese than the Back to Locali sale at Fire Engine Pizza Co. Hot, hot, hot. There we have it. Let's see what the guys think. Fire Engine Pizza Co. Just take a left to the Holland Tunnel, drive to Maine, make a U-turn, and drive 255 miles south. All right, gentlemen. The Hawaiian pizza. Oh, wow. Look at that. What do you think? I mean, it looks great. Well, I think it looks a lot better than one of those ties in the cases at the slice shop. It does. My mouth is watering. Although this honestly looks better than 99% of the Hawaiian pizzas I've ever had. I can smell the pecorino. It's phenomenal. Yeah, right? I'm a little nervous about the sauce, but I thought it was going to be a white pie. No, oh, it's got tomato underneath. How come his side has more capicola than mine? I think he's a little more Italian than you. You guys should get into it. I gotta get back to work. Thank Thanks, you. Morgan. Enjoy, guys. Wow. I'm going in. Go, go for it. This is your big moment. Ready? Yeah. Mmm. It's juicy, but it's not like the pineapple's too sweet. This is really, really good. It's also not overpowering. You know, like pineapple can be really sharp and acidic. I don't want to say mellow, but it's more mellow than I would expect. Yeah, I'm definitely getting more to gabagool. Yeah, it's a great blend. But this is a polarizing pizza. You know, like a lot of people hate it and a lot of people love it. There's no middle ground. You don't like kind of like pineapple. I think it's fantastic. It has capicola, mozzarella, tomato sauce, and pineapple. Is it a pizza? What are the rules? Dough, cheese, sauce. Pineapple and gabagool topping. But pineapple seems to give a different reaction to people. Why do you think people get into so many arguments about pineapple? Because of course it's just not a traditional topping. Yeah, but there's a lot of toppings that are not traditional. You know, pepperoni only landed on pizzas like 100 years ago. Only 100 years ago? Yeah. So dough, sauce, cheese, plus infinity. No, toppings. Would you put peaches on a pizza? I might. Would you put raisins on a pizza? Maybe. Would you put banana on a pizza? I'd put it on a Nutella pie. Okay, is that a pizza? I don't have an argument here. It's a pizza. So whatever goes on top of it is cool. Topping-wise? Yeah. yeah. I knew you'd be on my side with this one. I'm going in for a second slice. You know what? What? I would really like to hear your verdict on this. My verdict? Mm -hmm. You want to hear my thoughts? Yeah. Is it a pizza or is it not a pizza? Well, it's a dough that is topped and then baked. And for me, I don't care what you top on it. As long as it holds down the dough during the bake, I don't care if it's an Italian ingredient, it's a Ukrainian ingredient, or an Australian ingredient. I think people decided that there were rules because they thought that there was some kind of a sacred characteristic of pizza, when in reality, pizza is anything. Just because there's pineapple on a pizza does not disqualify it from anything. I think people who don't like it, I think that they're afraid of liking it. And I think most people would say, oh, it's, I would never try it because it's so ridiculous. But once you have pineapple on pizza and you like it, you realize both things are great. This is 100% absolutely pizza. You did good. Thanks.
You did good. You ate three slices. I'm proud of you. I think we're fueled up and ready to rock. You want to get out of here? Back to Brooklyn. He's got the truck. There you go. Oh, my God, Marty. This is so cool. It's like the oven in the restaurant. Maybe I'll get one of these. Maybe you should. Maybe I'll set up on your corner. Change your mind about pineapple on a pizza? No, I love it. I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> but you did it. Thanks again. Convert it. Yeah, seriously. Pleasure. Thanks, man. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Oh, I want to beat that horn. <laughs> There's only a few people that like, kidnap me and get away with it. You're one of them. And I fed you good pizza. I did all the driving. I think I'm finally ready to take my road test. Did to have an adult in the car while I have my permit, so thanks. I'm really glad you joined me on this. Listen, great road trip. What was the weirdest pizza of the whole trip? It's probably a toss-up between the Frankfurt AF Taco and the mustard pizza. No way, the mustard pizza was the weirdest? Yeah. Come on. No, you know what was really like the biggest surprise of all? You've been bringing me all these pizzas. It was finally nice to get out and meet the people who make them. Yeah. Good people. Yep. Pizza people are like all great people. That's kind of my favorite part about bringing you weird pizzas when I get to go out, and, you know, visit, hang out, chat. I can't wait for my next pizza trip. Really? Yes, Scott. You mean it? Yes, Scott. I'm still getting a little like mushy on me now. Pretty cool truck. Where, yo, where's the ladder? We need to get you a helmet. Is it open? Yeah, dude, it's open. Why don't you go play with the horn? Yeah. Look at that. Marty, I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm gonna make this my new doorbell. We need a double extra large pineapple pizza ASAP. Squat. <laughs> Sorry, baby, you're fired. Look at him, look at him. <laughs> hey, Mark! Hey, Mark! I'm a fireman. I said I put out fire. You need the helmet. I'm saving lives. I'm a fireman. Let's go. We got people to save. There's a cat in a tree somewhere. This is the adventure of a lifetime. OK, Captain Let's Scott. Go. What are some of your pizza rules? Thanks for watching this season of Really Dough. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And if you're hungry for more, check out our other episodes, like the last one where I went to do parties with Mark and we ate that clam pizza. You loved it. You ate the whole thing. I did. Hey, you want to go on another road trip? Hey. Hey, I don't know how to get down from here. Mark, seriously, I don't know how to get down from here. I guess I'm just here now. I like Connecticut. Something burning? Does anybody else smell something burning?